In the given equation, k is an integer, that's really helpful. The equation has no real solutions. So I see it's a quadratic, no real solutions just means on Desmos, I don't want it to intersect our x-axis, right? So I'm definitely gonna pull this up already and I'm gonna make negative x to the second plus kx minus 700, add a slider for my k. And we wanna try to find our parabola here and it looks like it's gonna be way down there, right? So our goal, and you know why I don't include the equal zero, equal zero puts it in solution form. And since there aren't any solutions, that's not very useful because I can't see my function. So always try to get rid of your equal zeros. And again, my goal is just to get as close as possible to the x-axis without touching it. So I might click on this, I may make that 100. I'll change my step to one two because since k is an integer, I want it to go, your step is how much it changes by. So this will just change by ones. And again, I want to get as close to this as possible. So I'll probably zoom in a lot here. And it looks like positively, it's going to be k is equal to 52. So I'm going to write that down on my paper. k equaling 52 is the biggest positive number. But I always want to double check. I wonder if negative does anything as well. So I'll make this negative 100. And I'll see if I can also get close to it. And this is a weird one where it does go both ways, positive and negative. The smallest negative I can do is going to be pretty similarly, it's gonna be negative 52. So I can hide Desmos. I can say K equals negative 52 as like the most negative I can get. They want the least possible. So it's just gonna be when my K is negative 52.